Hello, welcome back to ATCB Gaming. We're going to be playing more Slay the Spire today. We're going to do a run with the Silent, whose name I keep forgetting. Um, so the Silent is uh, quite a different character to the Ironclad. Different kind of cards. Um, she, I think she, is more about um, kind of doing poison damage over time, uh, using Thorns abilities, which, similar to Thorns in other games, is like you damage things when they hit you. So you can kind of build her up into a weird tank, um, but you, yeah, you got to be more careful about your health because you don't have a heal at the end of every combat. Yeah, but at the start of each combat, you draw two additional cards, which is pretty sweet and can lead to a lot of kind of being able to hammer a lot of cards out uh, in a in an individual turn. Now, um, I'm going to go for upgrade a card. The reason I'm going to go for upgrading a card is because when you hit campfires with the silent I tend to find I, well I found on my first run with her that you you usually have to heal <laughs> because you don't get the individual heals so you end up with less chances to upgrade a card so I'm going to start off by upgrading a card um, and I'm going to upgrade not one of my base ones um, neutralize Deal 3 damage, apply 1 weak for 0, is pretty good. Uh, gain 8 block and discard a card. I actually quite like that, especially at the beginning. I'm going to do that to gain that block, that's fine. I'm going to upgrade that. And then we'll see where... Ooh, okay. Literally no chain on the right? That's interesting. Are there as many starting positions? No, there aren't. Okay. Roguelike is roguelike, I guess. Um... Where am I going to go here? What do I want in this initial batch? Um, I mean, hitting the merchant there after only one combat is, is not ideal. We might have some money for something. Oh, we start off with 99 gold, actually. Yeah, alright. We'll hit that merchant. After we fight this jaw worm. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is neutralize. Uh, we're then going to use Survivor. And we're going to discard Defend. Because we don't need it, because we're already going to block all the damage. And then we're going to just deal a bunch of damage. So that went well. Um... Okay, we can't kill it. Is it actually going to attack? Block and use a buff. Okay, no, it's not attacking, so. You can just do that. Straightforward. Having that big hand of cards is it's definitely good. Uh, so it's going to deal 14 damage unless we can deal um, 15, which we can easily, yes. Bye bye. Okay, 15 gold. Let's add a card. So, Bane. Uh, I haven't had this one before. Deal 7 damage if the enemy is poisoned. Deal 7 damage again. I mean, we don't have a poison at the moment, so that's not really worth anything. Um, deal 9 damage. Draw 1 card. Discard 1 card. Um, so, it's, uh, yeah, just 9 damage more than prepared. Um, but for an extra. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take the dagger throw. I don't think I used that either last time. Um, oh no, we've got two fights anyway. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Let's take two fights. Cultist. Um, so, it's not going to attack us. So there's not much point in using... Well, there is, because there's no point not using it, because it doesn't get exhausted, so it's all fine. Uh, let's dagger throw. Uh, and discard the defend, because we don't need it. And let's strike and strike, because it's just buffing, so there's not much point in defending. It's going to give itself some strength. It's still under 6 damage. Um, I'm going to block. You know what, we're going to block. Why not block all that damage? I don't think we're in any danger of uh, it get really getting anywhere, so we might as well not take the damage, right? And we definitely won't have to heal when we get to a campsite. Well, well, you know, that's not guaranteed, but... Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, alright, we'll carry on. Going along those lines. 
just get it down enough that we can we can kill it with three strikes now, so hopefully this next turn will we'll draw three strikes. Uh, or not. Um, we'll do that. To knock that down to nine. We'll gain eleven block and discard a card, which would be that. And then oh, well, I guess we'll gain five block and deal six damage. Okay, so one strike will now kill it, so. A little bit of a faff, but it's fine. It's all fine. See you there. 17 gold. So prepared. I mean, yeah, maybe. Um, backflip. Gain 5 block, draw 2 cards. That's pretty good. Uh, or finisher. Deal 6 damage for each attack played this turn. I feel like we need another, another attack, so that seems good to me. Let's do this event. Which now can't be fights, as far as I'm aware, from the latest update. Uh, World of Goop. <laughs> Reference? You fall into a puddle. It's made of slime goop. Frantically, you claw yourself out over several minutes as you feel the goop start to burn. You can feel goop in your ears, goop in your nose, goop everywhere. Climbing out, you notice that some of your gold is missing. Looking back to the puddle, you see your missing coins combined with gold from unfortunate adventurers mixed together in the puddle. So, we either lose 35 gold, we're about to go to a... Uh, uh, merchant. We gain 75, gone and lose 11 health points. We haven't lost any health yet, so we're going to go with that. We'll, we'll take that. Take that gold. Feeling the sting of the goop as the prolonged exposure starts to melt away at your skin, you manage to fish out the gold. Okay, then. Let's see what we can spend this on. Now, uh, someone gave me advice to not start pruning my deck until I have at least 20 cards in it. Um, which, I mean, sounds fine to me. Ooh. Upgrade all of your cards for the rest of combat. Wow. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Is it worth 206? It's a lot to spend. Hmm. Let's have a look at some of these. Uh, Caltrops. I, well, yeah, I'm taking that. <laughs> I really like Caltrops. Uh, Malaise. Enemy loses X strength. Apply X weak. Exhaust. And that's just however much you spend. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you what I'm taking. I'm taking Caltrops. I'm taking bandage up. Uh, and do I want sucker punch or this? Enemy loses X strength, apply X weak. Actually, doubling up, that's pretty good. That's good against bosses. Maybe. Uh, or sucker punch, deal 7 damage, apply 1 weak. Uh, what do we take there? I mean, that isn't an attack, but it does damage. That's a heal, so maybe an attack? I mean, this looks like it's potentially. I'll take, it. I'll, I'll take it. It's on sale. Why not take it? I'm not playing this for efficiency. <laughs> that should be brutally apparent by now. Um, another event. Oh, huh. Well, apparently they can just be fights. Fair enough. Uh, we're going to use neutralize. Uh, we are going to. We don't actually need to use survivor, so we don't need to discard a card. So we're just going to gain five block. And then we're going to dagger throw. I don't think we need to use malaise, do we? Nah. Um, that's fine. And then we'll just do a normal strike. Then we've got a weaken on us, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to bandage up. We're definitely going to use caltrips. We haven't done an attack this turn, so that's pretty of minimal use. So we're just gonna just gonna block. But these caltrops will start dealing damage now, which is nice. Got an extra weakened on us. Twelve damage. Okay. Well, we're gonna get eleven. Mm, that's actually a good question. What are we going to do? Going to discard that. We are going to protect ourselves and going to deal 4 damage. Which is fine. We're in an alright position. And also, it's going to take some damage from the Caltrops anyway, so... It's all good. Right, we don't have much here now. So, we're going to pile on the damage here. Get rid of it. Oh, I think we've got it. Yeah, we're going to kill him. 6 damage. And then 6 for each attack played this turn. So, 12. Just doing those maths for you. In case you didn't realise. Uh, someone else pointed out, uh, Mercification, I think, who's a regular viewer, pointed out I need to take, better, pay more attention to my potions. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> I definitely do. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, deal 8 damage next turn, gain an energy. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I'm going to say that. Flying knee. Um, do we want to head here? I, I'm not, I don't really go to the elite fights, which is probably a thing. There's a chance to get an elite fight later. Um, I could do a fight and then a campsite. <clears throat> no, I'm going to, I'm going to go to this campsite. Um, because I want to just get a chance to upgrade a card. Okay, probably Caltrops. Yep. Super good. And then this fight is all we can do. Oh, lots of little things. I don't think I've fought these guys before. Sneaky Gremlin. Mad Gremlin. Uh, when it takes attack damage against one strength. Uh, Gremlin Wizard. Okay, well this is interesting. Wow, they're going to deal a lot of damage. <laughs> the best way to avoid damage here might just be to kill things. I suspect. I can kill this guy at least. Uh, so if we do. You just deal 6 damage for each attack played this turn. You have played 1 attack. Okay, so if we do a damage to Hang on, what was that thing again? Whenever it takes attack damage it gains one strength. Okay, yeah, well there's no reason to do that, so I'm gonna hit the wizard. And then we should kill this guy. Yep. Uh, and then we'll probably defend. Just to reduce the damage we're gonna take. Yep, okay. We'll try and kill these guys with as big damage as possible, but taking the thorns damage means they don't get strength, so we want to get kind of hit by them as much as possible before we can grind them down. Um, oh. Did it heal them? Because they didn't seem to take the actual... Oh, because I haven't used caltrops. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, okay. I think we can kill off this guy though, that might be a thing to do. Deal nine, nine, hmm, we can, and that would, to be fair, reduce our damage by, I mean we could reduce our damage completely by using Survivor, but yeah, let's do this. Quapow! Uh, let's discard that, and then let's just kill him. Oh, we still have... Oh, because I gained the extra energy. Yeah. Damn, I should pay attention to things. Huh. Charging still. Huh, okay. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. We should be able to kill him, hopefully. Uh, no, we can't. We cannot. So this is going to be very painful. Uh, very painful. Okay. I mean, that, I guess. Yeah, we should have killed him before this, but we didn't know that that was what it was going to do. So, yeah, this is going to be a lot of damage. Uh, so what are we going to do here? We are going to... First things first is we're going to defend. So we're not going to take any damage this turn, and then we're going to... going to kill this guy. And then... He'll gain one strength, but we'll still block it all. Um, choose a card to discard. Enemy loses X strength. Blah, 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 blah. Get rid of that. And then we can hit him with neutralize. It'll apply one week, so he won't... Yeah, we still end it. Ooh, took a lot of damage from that gremlin wizard, but... Oh well. That's just how it is. Gold, Ancient Potion, add a card to attack. Ooh, Phantasmal Killer. On your next turn, your attack damage is doubled. Mm, that's good, but you can't guarantee drawing a load of attacks and it costs two. Eh. Uh, deal four damage to all enemies twice. On next turn, gain two. I quite like that one. Okay, what do we want here? Hmm. I'm pretty low on health. I might take, a, might take an event. 
Oh, merchant. Okay. I only got 41. Uh, we could take finisher again. I mean... Do we want finisher again? You know, it's pretty good, and it's done me well so far, so let's take another copy of it. And then we're going to go here for this chest. Or are we? Either way, we get a campfire afterwards. They're actually pretty identical. Here, we can do a campfire and an elite. Yeah, you know, screw it. We'll fight an elite. We will fight an elite. Oh, no, there's... Are there any more elites up there? No, there aren't. Okay. Here, we can go campfire, elite campfire, which is pretty good. So, we'll go here. Let's take a look what's in this chest. Ginger! You can no longer become weakened. Okay. Sounds good to me. Oh, we're going to go campfire and we're going to heal for this this boss fight, or mini boss fight, and then we're going to fight an elite. Okay, these guys have artifacts, but that's okay because I have hardly any debuffs anyway, and they're intending to negative effect me, so I'm going to gain one artifact, just to get rid of one of those, might as well. We're definitely going to get ourselves Caltrop first. Um, we're going to gain block, and yeah, discard that. And then we have one more, so Flying Knee or Outmaneuver. Let's use Flying Knee and then we at least deal some damage. Who do we want to drag down first? I mean, whoever really. Guy at the front. Uh, and then next turn we'll get an extra, extra energy. Yeah, that's cool. Might as well. Oh, it's putting stuff in my deck. Okay, well. Ugh, okay. Right, what we got? You guys are dealing damage to me. Hmm, we can use both strikes and a finisher. Can we actually drag them down? I mean, defense is hardly worth defending anyway, so. And then. Uh, I mean, it's not maximizing the usage of it, right? It's 18 damage, but I'd rather not take. Yeah, I just need to finish them off. Yikes. There are now a lot of them in there. Mm -hmm. Let's heal up. And let's dagger throw this guy. Yeah, let's get that. Let's neutralize. Let's do that, which just got rid of there. We had an artifact, it got rid of that. And we'll take three damage. And they take five. <laughs> I've got a lot of them in there now. I'm going to start drawing them. Um, but not yet, which is nice. Um, you can completely defend against that, and I'm tempted to do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's defend. Let's neutralize and get rid of that artifact. Let's deal 8 damage, and next turn, gain an energy. Now the question is... Now we'll, we'll, we'll hit them with it. That's fine. And next turn we get an extra energy. We should be able to take this guy down next turn. For sure. God. <laughs> a lot in there. Uh, only one, I'm surprised only one of them has come up. Uh, oh, there we go. Discard that. Not that it particularly matters. Uh, strike for six. Where's the way? What's the way to do this? It's that, and then that. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Fine. That is not the way to do it. I completely miscalculated that, but it's fine. We should be able to kill this guy this turn. Okay, this hasn't been too painful. Unless I literally draw. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna take that hit, unfortunately. I think ethereal means that once they've been in your hand, once they vanish. But there we go. Okay, we've got 33 gold. We've got an anchor. Start each combat with 10 block. That's pretty good. And add a card to our deck. Double an enemy's poison. Can we go his poison yet? That's pretty bad. Uh, deal 5 damage for nothing, or deal 7 damage and apply 1 weak. I quite like that. 
because we haven't got any attack limits at the moment, kind of attack, you know, limits in the number of cards we can play. And we've got the finishers, so getting some extra free attacks in is pretty decent. Um, we haven't got, we haven't got, we've got hardly any gold, so we're going to go to the campfire. Do we heal? I say we don't, which I may regret later. Um, if I do upgrade one of my finishers, maybe. Uh, that's 11 damage. Next turn, gain 3. That's pretty good. Uh, 8 damage for free. That's actually really good. That's actually really good. 8 damage for free. Yeah, let's take a bit of that. Okay, so which direction are we going now? Either way, we've got two monsters. It, it genuinely doesn't matter which way we go. So we're going to go to the right. Get some of these louse, lice, louse, louse, lice, lices, lysoir. Um, I don't know what that means. Okay, we are going to slice that guy. And then we are going to caltrop up for sure. And then we are going to do... <laughs> Should work, yes. And then, ooh, 12, oh no, not quite a kill. We can kill this guy though, why not? We didn't need to actually because we could have taken it on the, our, our free block we get now, but fine. Fine, definitely haven't used that malaise yet. I can imagine using it on a boss. I can definitely imagine using it on a boss. Uh, immune to something there. Okay, let's have a look. So we only need one defend to to fully defend, but we may be able to to kill it. Can we kill it? Uh, let's discard that defend or the survivor. Let's discard the survivor. Um, so we've got we just need to do seven damage. So yeah, we can. We get energized next round. <laughs> I think both would be a bit silly. That gets rid of its curl up. We should be fine. Got a lot of strength. That doesn't matter for shit. So, gold, poison potion. Finally got some poison. Albeit not on a card. Um, okay. So deflect to gain four block. That's not bad. Uh, another out manoeuvre. Or another dagger throw. I like that deflect. I like things for free. I like things for free. Okay, just a looter. Let's bandage up. Okay, we don't need to block. So let's... Uh, neutralize for free, slice for free, strike, finisher, bam. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> that was a good first turn. Yep. Die. Easy one. Gold, 11 gold, dexterity potion. So we definitely need to use these against the boss now. So we'll probably end up being given one by the boss. Again, we have no poison. Oh, there we go. Apply three poison, apply three weak. Uh, deal eight damage. Yeah, we'll finally take some poison because poison is good. Uh, and we're gonna. Are we gonna heal? Are we gonna heal against this boss? I think we should. Uh, we're under the threshold for getting the maximum out of it, though. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what we could get. Uh, I want to see about this crippling poison. See, I was hoping it would reduce it to one. Um, hmm. Hmm. Ugh. You know what? We're going to risk it. We're, we're, we're going to do an upgrade. Um... That's not that good an improvement. Um, let's upgrade. You know what I do like? Yeah, we're going to upgrade that. Make it a bit more 
worth the two we're going to spend on it. Oh, I'm going to regret not healing, aren't I? Slime boss. I think we fought this guy in the last one. Uh, we've already blocked enough for the turn, so we're going to heal. I mean, we might as well do some damage. Uh, we're going to do crippling poison. And just strike. You know what? We'll use that on him as well to start doing more more damage. Because that poison stack now is going to do 11 a turn, going down by one each turn. What's it giving me? Draw one less card for two turns. Okay. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, but it's not an attack. So. Oof. Hmm. I'm tempted to just pour all my... But does that... Does that apply a minus three strength? Like, does he need to have gained strength first, is my point. Uh, that's... That's quite an important question. <laughs> Either way, I'll take six damage. Oh! Oh, for each... Oh, oh, fine. Okay, fine. Too weakened. Yeah, fine. Whatever. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter, but take that. Preparing. Slime crush. Okay. 24 damage. Yikes. Okay. I have nothing... Take, I'm going to put on Caltrops with no defense. Next turn, I'm going to gain an extra two and I'm going to hit him. But he's just going to deal me that damage. Straight up. At least I've got Caltrops now. Ouch. Could have been worse. At least I had the, the thing. Oh, it does stack to minus two. Okay. I should have noticed that immediately, but I did not. Um. Oh, we've got five energy and nothing to spend on it. That's annoying. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is a dagger throw. And then we can discard one card. Eh, do we want that? The block there? Probably. Let's discard the strike. Just want to be careful about my health now. Okay, well at least we'll get an extra energy next turn as well. Evidently, we actually need more high-cost cards. Okay, split into two. Good, that's one off. Each of these is just doing a debuff. Probably the one it just put on me. Um, so we don't need to defend. So let's... These have the split-down one as well, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just start dealing damage to this guy. Might as well use that. Yeah, it's going to do... Oh, no, immune. Okay. Oh, because it's weakened. I see. That would be why. Okay, so this is doing 16 damage. Let's take that free deflect. Let's take a defend. Um... Still 9 damage. Draw one card, discard one card. We are going to... What's these? Two dexterity. Uh, it improves block. For some reason I thought they were energy ones. Okay. So we're going to discard that because we can't afford it. Yeah, so we've done the stun thing on that, so it's... We're going to do that so it's two things for 18 rather than... This could be risky, though. It's about to take half our health off here. Or, well, no, near as damn it, apart from the block. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's, uh... Drink that. 
You know what? We're going to drink both of them. And then we are we're going to leave that for now and then just finish off these. That seems like a good idea. We need to block as much as we can. Yeah, we need to try and finish these things off, but... Ooh, I'm a bit worried about this now. Has to be said. A wound card in there. Guess that's dead now from the Caltrops. Okay, we're going to take 16, but we 15 block. Yes, please. Can I save that for last? One, two, three, four. Yes, I can. Okay. So let's do this instead. Do three damage, apply one weak. Uh, can we kill this off? Play one attack. Uh, yeah, so if we... Hmm. <laughs> the right way around to do this. Is there a right way to do this? I don't want to waste the, the bigness of that, I guess. But I guess we will. Because it would be silly not to. Frail. But now it's a one hit kill. And it's splitting, so I need to try and. That's just going to debuff me. So I need to focus down this as much as possible. So the resulting slimes will be pretty damn low now. Okay, I think we got this. I think we got this. Plus one frail again. Probably got this. Um, ugh. I mean, yeah. <sighs> well, yeah, we're all defended and they're going to take Thorn's damage, so. From the Caltrops. So, fine. Trying for a weekend again. So hopefully we'll get. Yeah, okay, we can kill him now. Whew! Bit dangerous, but fine. So we're going to play Doppelganger. Next turn, draw X cards and gain X energy. Um, Got to pump stuff into it though. Wraith Form. Whenever you play a skill, deal 3 damage to a random enemy. It's expensive. In Venom, whenever attack deals unblocked damage, apply one poison. Yes, please. That's very good. Then we get our thingy. Potions always drop after combat. That's pretty good. Gain an energy at the start of each turn. You can no longer gain gold. No, you can no longer use potions. Hmm. I'd rather use potions. <laughs> I think I've got a lot of free stuff as well, so yeah, that's good. Okay, let's move into Act 2, fully healed up again. Um, so we'll uh, cut off the episode there, and uh, we'll start up Act 2 in the next episode, and hopefully we'll at least get to the end of this one this time. Because um, I think all my runs, up until the recorded one, um, I got to Act 3. <laughs> so there we go. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye.